The S is silent. <laughs> You're fucking gay. Marcus, shut up. No, you shut up. You dyke bitch. <laughs> hey, Marcus. Guess what? What? You're free to leave. Like right now? Like right now. <laughs> All right, yo. Yeah, I'll catch you later, man. What the fuck? His name is Henry. Today was his first day as a substitute. There was only one rule in his class. If you don't wish to be here, don't come. And that's when Jack got up and came over. He grabbed Henry's bag and smashed it against the wall. Anything else? Better back the fuck up before I fucking rock your shit. That bag, it doesn't have any feelings. It's empty. I understand you're angry. You have no reason to be angry with me because I'm one of the few people that's here trying to give you an opportunity. Now I'm gonna ask you to just sit down. After class, the fat girl asked Henry why she kicked out the previous boy and left the worst one, Jack. Henry said it was okay to insult me, but never insult you. Henry's answer made the fat girl feel a little bit better about him because no man had ever been so good to her, even her own father. Even her own father had a disdainful look on his face. This school was full of poor students. They didn't give a damn about the teachers. Fighting and cursing were common. The teachers who managed to survive were living in hell every day. Give me the fucking money! You want money? Now! The girl asked the old man next to her for payment. The man not only refused to pay, he slapped her. The girl was very upset. She turned around and followed Henry, who was alone, out of the car. On the way, she tried to make a deal with Henry, but Henry refused. But when he came home the next night, I'd run into that girl again. It was like she was waiting for him. She asked Henry to give her money, but Henry didn't give her the money. He took her home. So they went to Henry's rented house. Henry brought the girl a sandwich and juice and put his hands on the girl's legs. Hey, hold on, man. It's a hundred bucks. But the girl was mistaken. Henry just noticed the bruises on her legs. Then Henry took the girl to the bathroom and disinfected her wounds. Then he gave the girl a bath. He let her sleep on the bed. He made himself a bed on the floor. For the first time in her life, had ever been treated so gently by anyone. The next day, Henry came home from work to see the girl with a strange man. With a strange man in his house doing dirty things. Henry was very angry. He told the man to pay the money and leave. Then he got some paper towels and told the girl to clean her mouth and change the sheets. The girl begged Henry not to throw him out and swore she'd never do it again. Henry shook his head. Okay, no promise, man. Whatever it is that you feel that you need to do, you do it. But you don't do it here. Henry didn't kick him out. He let the girl sleep in the bed. He made the floor. And that made the girl feel a little bit better about Henry. Suddenly, she wanted to get to know the man in front of her. The next day, a pretty teacher at school. She also had a crush on Henry. They went on a romantic dinner date. But when Henry came home, he found that the girl, that the girl had cooked a big meal for him. Henry was surprised. He was also touched. It had been a long time since anyone had cooked for him. The girl made Henry a big breakfast in the morning. Henry was happy to accept. Henry took the girl to the hospital for a checkup. They went shopping together. They exchanged gifts. The girl gave Henry a ring. Henry gave the girl a notebook. On the way back, the girl slept quietly on Henry's shoulder. They were like lovers. One day, Henry went to the hospital after work to visit his grandfather. He saw the girl there. Henry was surprised. Why was she there? It turned out that the hospital had called Henry's home. The hospital called Henry's home and told him that her grandfather was dying. The girl had been here all day. Grandpa kept asking his mother for forgiveness. This is also a painful memory for Henry. Henry imitated his mother's voice and comforted Grandpa. Grandpa was comforted by him. He closed his eyes. The girl asked Henry how his mother had died. Henry thought for a moment and said he had no memory of his father. It was just his mother, Grandpa and himself. Every night before he went to bed, his mother would tell him to lock the door before he went to bed. Until one day, mother took a large amount of sleeping pills lying on the floor. She killed herself. After that, Grandpa became mentally ill. He was only seven years old at the time. His memory is a little fuzzy, but his mother's death must have been related to his grandfather's. He didn't understand much at the time. Until today, he realized the relationship between his mother and grandfather. Mother was protecting him in a special way. The fat girl at school gave Henry a portrait, and it was Henry, but there was no face. The classroom was empty. Henry saw the fat girl's sadness and loneliness and tried to help him. The fat girl was so moved that she cried. The fat girl fell in love with her teacher. 
She cried and asked him to hug her. The teacher tried to push her away, but he didn't expect. This scene was just witnessed by a female teacher who had a crush on Henry. She accused Henry of being a pervert. When she heard the word pervert, Henry remembered his grandfather and mother. His long suppressed emotions finally erupted. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not some sick old man! Is that what you think of me? Is that what you think? I just wanted to help her! After venting for a while, he left the classroom in anger. At this moment, Henry shed tears of loneliness. He had finally made up his mind to send the girl away. He was afraid that if he stayed in contact with her for a long time, he was afraid that the two of them would develop feelings for each other. The girl begged and pleaded. She had come to think of Henry as her family, but it didn't change the fact that she was taken away. The girl cried her heart out, and Henry was alone again. It was Henry's last class here. He said goodbye to his students, but the students loved him, and now Henry was leaving, and all the students were sad to see him go. Even Jack, who had come to hate him, the fat girl who hadn't been to class in a while, made a table full of cupcakes. Henry went over to say goodbye and gave her a notebook, but he didn't show much joy. When Henry said he wanted the black cryface cake, the fat girl didn't give it to him. She handed him a smiley face cake. Henry tried to apologize, but she cut him off. She just said goodbye to Henry. Then she picked up the black cake and ate it. It turns out the fat girl put a lot of poison into the cake. The girl collapsed. No matter what Henry did, he couldn't wake her up. Henry sat alone on the bench for a long time. He felt responsible for the girl's death. At that moment, he realized something. Since he had given someone warmth, he shouldn't have given up on him. He went to the orphanage where the girl was kept. The girl saw tears of hope in his eyes. He smiled with relief. The girl ran into his arms. They hugged each other tightly. At the end of the movie, Henry went back to teaching at the worst school in the world. He's still trying to save them. And his only regret was the fat girl in the corner of the classroom. That fat girl in the corner of the classroom will never be saved.